guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Priceline haul. Priceline in Australia will have these sales pop up and they have like half price off everything. Now the sale that is currently on that is ending I believe in like tomorrow or the next day or something. Um, it's only 50% off selected skincare, hair care, and makeup. So unfortunately, some of the things that I really have my eye on just weren't on sale, so I didn't pick them up. But I thought I would definitely share with you what I picked up and what I recommend from there. So everything is next to me on the ground. So it's not a massive haul, but it is definitely things that I needed. So starting with this, this is the Savvy Long Wearing Eyeliner in Granite. So this is a pencil. Oh, it's like one of those, like you wind it up. So I haven't used an eyeliner like this in so long, but I don't know, something drew me towards it. Probably the price because Savvy is quite affordable. Um, and yeah, I thought I would just grab that. The next thing I got is the Essence Lip Liner. This, I don't really wear anything on my lips, but when I do, I do love this lip liner. This is in the color Satin Mauve, and it's number six. Again, these are like two, three dollars, so very affordable. Amazing color, and they last all day and night. Like, really, really recommend this. <coughs> The next thing I picked up is another Savvy product. So this is the Savvy Coal Eyeliner. So this is a pencil version, as you can see here. And this one is in brown. I thought, I've got a lot of black felt liners, but I thought maybe I'll change it up and try a different type of eyeliner. And um, the next thing is the Essence Lash Princess. Now I got this obviously in the purple one and this is the Sculpted Volume Mascara. This Lash Princess I have heard so much about. Like it has such amazing reviews and I think this is $7 so it's quite affordable. Um, but yeah, I have wanted to try this lash princess for so long so i will probably do a review on this so definitely keep a look out i also picked up the thin lizzie perfectly primed primer um this i do believe it was on sale i think it was i think everything that i got was on sale which is why i got it um i've tried this and i really like it so looking for a primer thin lizzie is very good I got the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I use a CoverGirl setting spray at the moment, but it's more of like a dewy finish. I love a matte makeup finish look. So I've used this before. I really, really love it. So I was very excited to see this at the checkout. I actually forgot about it and then picked it up. Also the Australis one. I have no idea what it's called, but it's like a quite a big bottle in the black version. Yeah, that's the matte one. The next item is the Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. I think this is like a staple in any makeup collection. This powder is so amazing. Um, and I get it in natural. The, um, like the great thing about this product is it doesn't matter if I'm not tanned or tanned, where my foundations are absolutely a different color. Um, this still works, which I, I really love. Now, the one thing that I have needed for so long, which I literally, I don't know why it's taken me this long to purchase, makeup brushes. Oh my God, my brushes. I have some Zoeva ones, some MAC ones, some no name ones, um, and they are like falling apart. So I actually really needed a powder brush and like a contouring brush and then maybe like a blush brush, but it was just the powder and contouring is like, honestly, they are a disaster. So very urgent. I bit the bullet. I got some Real Techniques 
ones. So I picked this one up first. The girl at Priceline was like, this is a really good one. So I actually haven't touched these. The annoying thing about these is you can't actually feel them. So I was like, do you promise it's nice and soft? It is. So it's already got a hair coming out of it, which is a bit of a problem. It is super soft, to be honest. Um, I, I do like the feel of this. I'm just worried it's not big enough. I like really, really big fluffy. Like my other one is, what is it? A Zoeva? I think it's, I have a Zoeva one that's really big. So this will just be different, but yeah, really like the packaging. I've heard amazing things. Um, so yeah, I picked this up first and then I went back because I was like, let me just have another look. And I saw this. So this brush alone was on sale. Um, this was $20, like 19 something. And then I wanted to get another brush like this, which again, I think this was like $17 for that one brush. And I saw this and this was 35 and I was like, that would probably work. So I'll use obviously this for powder, maybe this for contouring, blush, highlight, and then these two I will definitely figure out. But yeah, super happy with this, excited to try them out. If you have tried Real Techniques, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear. And that is everything I got. So let me know in the comment section down below if you did go to the recent sale and what you picked up. I would love to hear from you and I will see you in my next video very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.